So what are the best possible kibbles that you could be feeding your dog? Today, I'm gonna give you five different kibbles with the best ingredients that you could possibly feed your dog. Keep watching so you don't miss it. Hey, my name is Ruben. If you're new to the channel, this channel is all about the bully breeds, killing the bad stereotypes, and becoming better owners. Um, I get this question a lot. What are the best possible kibbles that you could feed your dog? Now these kibbles I give you today, they're not necessarily the, the bulk up your dog kind of kibbles. They're not the protein pack kibbles. These are basic kibbles that you can feed your dog from a day to day basis that seem to have the best ingredients that I found in them, okay? So before we get started, leave a comment right now. What kind of kibble do you feed your dog? Do you see any kind of results with your dog? I'm curious. Also, if you uh, let us know what kind of results, maybe you could give some of my subscribers some kind of help. Now let's talk about the ingredients in the back of the packages, all right? So when you're looking at an ingredient, it doesn't matter whether it's dog food or our own food. When you have that list of ingredients, the first main ingredient that's the most inside that food is on top of the list. So um, let's say a kibble has potato at the very front of the list. That means that kibble is packed with mostly potato or it covers a majority of the food, okay? So that's what I'm going based off of. But all of these kibbles that I'm going to talk about today, I will put a link in the description down below where you can go check that out. Also, I have a free raw feeding guide. If you're looking to start raw feeding, I have a free cheat sheet where you can go get started. It will be free. There will be a link in the description where you can go sign up and I'll send that right to you. Now, number five on our list is Taste of the Wild. Now, I'm going to look at my computer right now. I was looking at the ingredients and obviously they have different formulas for let's say adult or puppy, but the one I found on their adult, I'm gonna name off some of the ingredients. So the first ingredient is bison, lamb meal, chicken meal, sweet potatoes, peas, potatoes, canola oil, egg product, beef, roasted venison, natural flavor, tomato pumice, potato protein, pea protein, ocean fish meal, salt, and so on and so forth. All right, so when I'm looking at Taste of the Wild, I'm no, first thing I'm noticing is bison is their number one ingredient. Then they have lamb meal and chicken meal. So that's why I think Taste of the Wild is pretty good. That's number five on our list. It's not the best because you see uh, sweet potatoes is number four on their list, peas, potatoes. That's going more into filler, but um, you will notice that in some, a lot of these kibbles, they have that as their first ingredients. And you always wanna see some kind of meat at the very top. So that's number five on our list. Number four on our list is Instinct Raw Boost. Now again, there's different formulas, but I'm gonna go off of some of the ingredients that I found. First ingredient I see is chicken, chicken meal, peas, chicken fat, tapioca, hearing meal, freeze-dried chicken, Manhattan fish meal, natural flavor, freeze-dried chicken liver, salt, dried tomato pumice, pumpkin seeds, freeze-dried chicken heart, and so on and so forth. So this is the reason why I think this is number four on our list. You do have peas as number three on the list, mean, meaning that peas is like the third most packed ingredient inside the food. So again, I like that I see meat as the number one on their list. That's why I think it's really great. This is um, not as much filler as some of those more popular brands that you see. So that's number four on our list, and that's the adult formula. Number three on our list is Akana Dog Food. I might be pronouncing that wrong. My bad if I am. But it's a very good kibble that I found. We're going to go over the adult formula. So um, it actually states how much of each is in the formula. So chicken meal, 25%, steel cut oats, 23%, fresh chicken meat, fresh chicken giblets, liver, heart, and kidney, whole red lentils, whole green peas, whole green lentils, fresh turkey meat, fresh whole eggs, chicken fat, and so on and so forth. I don't wanna bother you with all those vitamins and all that other stuff that they have in there. But the first thing I see is chicken meal, and then steel cut oats. I don't like the steel cut oats being number two on their list, but you know, it is what it is. This is some of the best stuff that I found on the internet. Now, hopefully this is giving you a basic idea of how I look at kibble. You know, the ingredients list is, you know, number one on the list is their most packed ingredient and so on and so forth. Number two and number one 
are basically tied with me because um, you will see why in just a minute. So number two and number one, there's really not an order in there, but um, I'm going to put visionary keto pet foods as number two. Now, they do have dog food that is pretty pricey in my opinion, but I'm just telling you that it's available on the market. Now, let's look at the ingredients. They have beef, beef heart, broccoli, green beans, coconut oil, chia seeds, red cabbage, sunflower seeds, beef liver, calcium carbonate, kelp powder, zinc amino acid, chelate, vitamin E, vitamin D3. So you look at a lot of these ingredients and some of it sounds like as if we're feeding the raw food. That's why I like visionary keto pet foods, all right? They do have the freeze, um, the freeze dried patties, I believe, and they do have a lot of dog snacks if you want to train your dog or whatever. That's besides the point. They do have food. Again, it's a little pricey, but it's worth it if you're able to afford it. Now, let's look at number one. This is the one that I vouch by. And I think uh, when a lot of owners ask me what to feed the kibble, I'm going to say this brand off the top of my head. All right. So number one is Origin Dog Food. Now, let's look at the ingredients. They have the bone chicken, the bone turkey, Atlantic flounder, whole eggs, whole Atlantic mackerel, chicken liver, turkey liver, chicken heart, turkey heart, whole Atlantic hearing, dehydrated chicken, dehydrated turkey, dehydrated mackerel, whole dehydrated chicken liver, whole dehydrated egg, whole red lentils, whole pinto beans, whole green peas, and so on and so forth. They have kidney in there, um, chickpeas, all kinds of stuff. So that's the reason why I like Origin. They have a lot of their top ingredients as a meat. That's what I look for in the kibble. You want your carbohydrates for your dog to be somewhere down the list when you're thinking about feeding kibble. Now, these are the five that I found that have great ingredients. I'm not saying these are the best out of all of them. I'm sure there's some kibbles out there that um, I haven't even came across yet that you guys probably know about. So if you know about a good kibble, again, drop that in the comments below. Maybe you can help out another subscriber find what they're looking for as well. My next video will be the five worst kibbles that I found that you could feed. So stick around, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss this video. I will see you guys on the next video. I'm out.